We're talking about the putting and chipping aspect. And it's hard for me to wrap my head around how you can feel and get that contact, the right contact, to get a good chip out. Um, it looks like we're at Innisbrook here in Florida. Why don't you walk us through how to chip over this bunker and how it relates to indoor golf versus outdoor golf. Okay, so you were asking about the chipping and the putting. The number one problem we see with new golfers coming indoors, and maybe it's not a problem, it's a misconception of how inaccurate these systems really are. It's not the system that's the problem, it's actually the golfer that becomes the problem. And they are outdoors, you become a visual player. And visual versus feel sets a different level of golfer. So when you talk about a professional, we go off a of feel. When you look at an amateur, they need to see what they're doing and they judge distance off of visual. Indoors, the screen is 12 feet away all the time. So I'll give you a, an example of what an average amateur, first time golfer would come in and hit. So he would come up to the ball and he would say, have his sand wedge in his hand and he'd be going, okay, I have 44 yards. I have no idea what I hit 44 yards. So they would come up and they would do a swing like this and they go, oh, I didn't hit it that hard. Right. There's something wrong with the system. That's not how the systems work. Okay. The system tracks club speed, ball speed, spin, angles. We showed you that in the practice side of things. You cannot get inconsistent data. So what a professional would do is go, okay, I hit 44 yards. That's where the flag is. Well, I know as a pro that I don't have to carry the ball 44 yards, just like outdoors. I have to carry the ball maybe 30 yards and let it roll for the rest of the time. Right. So I'm going to say, okay, I want to land this thing roughly, let's say 37 yards. Okay. And I'm going to put myself on, on the line here. Right. And I'm going to go off of feel and tempo versus visual. So coming in here, I want 37 yard carry and I want to roll it out from there. That's going to be a little long. I actually caught that a little bit too clean. So again, right away I knew what I did wrong. What you did wrong, right. So I actually carried it 37 yards, but I got it a little too clean. Okay. So we'll do that again. And I'm going to get this a little bit on the higher ball flight side. That's going to be almost where I want it. Okay. The greens are rolling pretty quick sure. here. Sure. Okay. So again, I'm looking to carry, and now I'm actually looking, maybe I don't need to carry 37 yards. Maybe there's a downhill slope here that I'm not knowing. Right. But if you look on the tour, we all make mistakes. Of course. There's no perfect golfer. Of course. But golfers are quick to blame the equipment. Sure. Because that was the old systems. The technology, the technology has tenfold improved over the years. Right. So chipping, putting, you know, it's all done by feel again. So I'm going to take a little bit more off on this one and we'll try it again. Still going to be, I think, a little bit short on that one now because I brought a little higher, a little less. But you can see the difference between the shots. Exactly, the tempo. The tempo, so you're 100% right. It's not the system, it's really you and your swing. Exactly. And your tempo. Yeah. Really cool. And it, it's one of the hardest things, it's a stigma that we have to deal with in the indoor industry. Sure. Is let's blame the equipment, not the operator, blame the equipment. Right. So, but the technology has improved so much that it's really not the equipment anymore. There are times that it does, you know, like anything. Of course. Give you a false read. There's a mulligan button for that. Exactly. So, and it's used quite a lot in here. <laughs> so.